As we bring you the stories and images of the deadly flooding in Colorado, we're also talking about just how treacherous those walls of water can be. It can prove dangerous for those trying to evacuate, driving on roadways in the wet conditions. Meteorologist Reynolds Wolf has more. Driving during a downpour can be inconvenient and dangerous. While a rainstorm can reduce visibility, those first drops can sometimes be the most dangerous factor on the road. When it first starts raining, it's the most dangerous time to be on the road because all the oil and the antifreeze that's dripped off of cars has soaked into the asphalt and it rises to the surface when it starts raining and then it mixes with the water so it makes the road really slick and dangerous. That's because once water covers the road, hydroplaning can occur. Hydroplaning means there's water between the tire and the road surface. So instead of the tire actually touching the asphalt, that contact patch in reality has water in between. So you can't steer the car and get to the location you need to be. But it's not just the rain. Other factors can make a big difference in how your car handles the road. 80% of your driving decisions are based on visibility, especially when it's raining really heavily out. It's going to affect the distance that you can see. And your headlights are going to be also really important, especially at night. Make sure your headlights are working properly, change those wiper blades every six months, and turn the cruise control off. Plus, don't use heavy braking, you'll just lose traction. The biggest mistake drivers make when it starts to rain is they drive through flooded roadways, they use their cruise control, and they don't give enough stopping distance between them and the vehicle in front of them, and that can lead to an accident. To find out what the roads are like in your area, check out the Driving Difficulty Index at weather.com slash DDI. I'm Reynolds Wolf, The Weather Channel.